Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we will be producing some tin four chloride from finely divided tin and chlorine gas. Tin four chloride is a very corrosive fuming liquid which we will hopefully use in the synthesis of sulfur trioxide. As a side note, do not attempt this reaction. Chlorine gas is highly toxic and tin four chloride is very corrosive. It also fumes profusely in air forming hydrochloric acid vapor. To begin, an apparatus was assembled. The chlorine gas generator shown in a previous video was set up and the outlet tube was inserted into a 100 milliliter round bottom flask with a Claisen adapter and condenser column on top. The apparatus was also flame dried as this reaction is moisture sensitive. Next, 23.5 grams of tin metal was added to the 100 milliliter flask. The finely divided tin produced in a previous video was used, as well as some larger tin spheres I had on hand. To begin the reaction, the hot place was turned on to preheat the tin. Once warmed, the chlorine gas generator was started by slowly dripping hydrochloric acid into some trichloroisocyanuric acid. The chlorine gas produced was dried by bubbling it through some concentrated sulfuric acid, and then immediately a tin chlorine fire started in the 100 milliliter flask, and tin tetrachloride began to be produced. Initially, I thought having a tin chlorine fire was not ideal, so I turned down the hot plate and raised the flask to cool a bit. The tin four chloride began accumulating and refluxing in the condenser as it was generated. I soon realized that the chlorine gas flowing through the apparatus carries out some of the refluxing tin four chloride vapor, so I decided to cool the apparatus, halt chlorine production, and reassemble the apparatus with the condenser as a simple distillation setup. This should help increase yield by reducing how much tin four chloride is carried out with the chlorine. As the reaction proceeded, it was going rather slow, so I cranked the hot plate to distill over all the tin for chloride and melt the remaining tin. The chlorine production rate was also slightly increased, which resulted in a somewhat steady tin chlorine fire in the flask. I found the reaction proceeds best with multi-tin and a steady flow of chlorine to sustain the fire. This produced tin for chloride at an appreciable rate, which distilled and collected in the flask. Once the tin was fully consumed, the chlorine generation was stopped and the receiving flask was stoppered. In total, around 20 milliliters of tin four chloride was produced, corresponding to about an 85% yield. The tin four chloride does have some chlorine gas contamination, however, this is not an issue for our applications. As the apparatus was disassembled, the characteristic fuming nature of tin four chloride was observed as residual amounts in the glassware reacted with moisture in the atmosphere to produce hydrochloric acid vapor and tin four oxide. Anyhow, that is essentially how to produce tin four chloride from elemental tin and chlorine gas. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in a future project. Okay, bye.